Today, I'm coming back at you guys for one reason, and that's because I miss Diablo Immortal, but even more than that, I miss the Diablo Immortal Let's Play. What is up my friends, my name is Echo and welcome back to the channel and you know, Diablo Mortal has been delayed, old news, nothing new here, time has passed and things have gotten very quiet on YouTube regarding Diablo Immortal. Nature of the beast, there's no beta build, there's no news, we just know the game has been delayed. So there's not really much to talk about but I was literally sitting back today and thinking about how I loved playing the Let's Play. I have never done a Let's Play. In all of my five years of YouTube, I never did a series where I just kicked back, played the game, and enjoyed the game with you guys, with my audience. But I did it for Diablo Immortal. We did it with the Barbarian, and it was a real lot of fun. All I had to do was log in every day, experience some stuff with you guys, find some new areas, some new zones, and we could experience that together. Especially because a handful of you guys haven't ever gotten your hands in the game. You got to experience it with me, we enjoyed it together, and it was really just a lot of fun. So as it sits, we're in September right now. I don't anticipate the game coming out for another eight to nine months, which seems like an eternity. Although we've already been waiting an eternity, it's probably not gonna be as bad as we think unless if it gets delayed again. Let's cross our fingers and hope that doesn't happen. But I really just wanted to kick back and watch some of my footage of the Crusader in the Frozen Tundra. And specifically, we're making our way to the Cavern of Echoes, which is my favorite zone of all. But along the way, I'm going to have my reminiscent moments of when we did the Let's Play together. Just had a lot of that casual fun. And I wanted to ask you guys. Yes, guides are cool. Breaking down builds is cool. News is cool. But did you enjoy the Let's Play series? A much more casual approach to Diablo Immortal? Or did you not like it? Was it not your thing? What you need to do, or what you can do, is let me know down in the comment section below. If you love Diablo Immortal, you can throw a heart in the video and subscribe for more Diablo Mortal videos, and in the meantime, while we're waiting, even some other action RPG, mobile games, like on December, or other cool things that may pop up in the meantime. Now, one of my favorite things about Diablo Mortal, as I've been comparing it to other games that I've been playing, is the way that you modify your skills based on your gear. And I was just watching right now on the footage, draw and quarter was being used by the Crusader. That's when the chains are being pulled behind the horse and it pulls in all the enemies together and then you could just slay them in one bunch. I love draw and quarter, but I loved it even more when that was modified into the meteors dropping down around me wherever I ran my horse, into the flames underneath my horse to literally burn everything along my way. It's something that we see in a lot of games inside of this genre, but I think it was really done well inside of Diablo Immortal. And there's a few reasons why. One, it's not difficult to understand. It's not difficult to maneuver your way through these mechanics. Essentially, you're gonna be unlocking your skill because you unlock skills as you progress through the game. Remember, the skills upgrade and unlock along with your character grind. So if you're level one, you're not gonna have any skills. But if you and your friends are all level 30, you're all going to have the same skills unlocked if you're using the same characters. And of course, those skills are going to be at the same levels because the levels, they keep up with your character grind. So then you go running around and you happen to run into a chest. Inside of that chest, you find a fantastic helmet. And that helmet may change how one of your skills works. Maybe it's a skill that you're using. And then you're like, well, this is great. Or maybe it's a skill that's on the bench, on the sideline, not being used, then you could say, hmm, maybe I'm gonna try this thing out. Maybe it'll be worthwhile. Maybe it'll change the skill enough so that I like it more than the current skills that I've been using. And that happened to me with the Crusader with a couple of different skills where you were able to drop the totem and it would actually act like a turret rather than just having an aura effect that it had as the initial skill. So. This brings to mind, for me, a lot of different modifications that can be made with Diablo Immortal over time. Because essentially, we're not just looking at 14 skills you get with a class. You're getting 14 or so, because we can get more, skills with a class, with a whole bunch of legendary items that can modify those skills, and gems that can modify those skills. And this game can always and continuously bring out more gear, more weapons, more armor, 
and more gems that can further modify the skills. So Blizzard doesn't only have to continuously add new skills to the game, they can add new skill effects to the game that are based on buffs and changes that come from the gear that you're unlocking, which is a really cool mechanic, not only as it was implemented when we were playing the alpha, but also potential for this game moving forward. It's really unlimited potential as to what these characters can do, which also means that does Blizzard have to continuously bring us new character classes? Or can they modify what current character classes are capable of doing? And I think that a mixture of both of those is gonna actually be the recipe for 100% success. Because what I would essentially like to see, as far as skills and character classes go, I would like to see skill modifications come, I don't know, two, three times a year, just with new drops, a new piece of gear that could modify your skill or two. That would be cool. And then maybe once a year, as a treat, as a gem, as something really special, we can get a new character class. Even every 18 months, we'll get a new character class. I think that sounds cool. Could you imagine having the Amazon? We could bring character classes that have already been part of the Blizzard and the Diablo world, or they could be completely new, completely new builds, maybe even built by community suggestions, but brought to us from regular updates for us to enjoy the game in a different way, making us want to replay the game from the beginning because that's how skills and character classes differ. If you get a new skill for your current character, like my Crusader right here, I'm not gonna play the game all over again because I got a new skill or a modification to that skill. But if I get a new character class, well, first of all, I have no choice. But second of all, I would wanna play the game over with that class offering replayability to Diablo Immortal, which is a topic that we really haven't spoken about at all. And actually, replayability. That may be the word that I put on the thumbnail. And this is part of the reason why I love Let's Plays and things like that, because as you're watching, as you're participating in the game, finding new things, although, sadly, I'm not actively playing at this moment, these are footage clips that I've picked up along the way, your mind wanders and it makes you think of ideas and ways that the game can improve or ideas for Blizzard to just make changes to the game, which maybe it's not an improvement, maybe it's just an addition. Either which way, it's something new. And you all must know I love those moments when I run myself into a treasure goblin. For whatever reason, they don't even give you that much gold, but I just love looking at these golden goblins, spanking them down, stealing their satchel and all of their loot. It's just a fun element to the game that I would like to see more of. Even though I did run into a good number of them and I was able to conquer a bunch of them as well, Treasure Goblins for me never got old. It was always an exciting moment for them to spew their gold all around in messy fashion. Treasure Goblins for the win. As we taper off towards the end of this video, I'm going to let you guys know that my favorite class currently inside of Diablo Immortal is the Barbarian. I would play a Let's Play over again from day one as the Barb, but when we do get this beta build, assuming that that is coming soon, fingers crossed, I'm expecting it in October by the way, I am going to play my next Let's Play series as the Necromancer, the most unplayed character class of Diablo Immortal, for obvious reasons, my most unplayed character class out of Diablo 3. So one that I'm really looking to dive into and get the understanding of. Very different from my, my normal slam and slash and just pound on the screen playstyle. So I'm looking forward to how that's going to play out and to sharing all that with you guys because Necromancer, it's kind of where it's going to be at. I know that everyone loves that wizard, but the Necro, the Necro summons demons, man. And they fight for you. I wouldn't want that. But we're out of here for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm reminding you one more time to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell if you love Diablo Immortal. And if you want to be kept up to date with any news, information, or really anything about Diablo Immortal or other action RPGs that you could play in the meantime. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Hashtag more Diablo Immortal in the comment section below if you made it to this point in the video. I'll see you guys back here with another one really soon. Now be good.